Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Have you ever wondered how to launch your bait hundreds of meters out to sea? In today's video, we're going to do just that. We blast our baits out into the ocean like never before. A man and his toy. We will show you everything you need to know about bait cannons. First, we have a look at how bait cannons are locally produced and then we head to the beach to fire away. Let's go. We are about to meet Tama in Teteco in the beautiful Bay of Plenty. His mission is to craft the finest bait cannons in New Zealand. He is an awesome dude and invited us over to have a look at his workshop. Hey Tama, how's it going? Hey, Mark. Nice to meet you, man. Good, Mark. Yeah, Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I'm really excited, man, to uh, have a look at this bait cannon. I've been uh, wanting to see that for so long. Eh? Yeah. Oh, you get to see it in person now. Yeah, awesome, man. <laughs> so, shall we have a look? Yep. Come yeah. on in. Um, let's get a little bit to the workshop. Rumor has it that his first word was fish, though some say it was hook. Either way, we are in good hands. Here we are in Tama's workshop. It's like the NASA of fishing. So Tama, please tell us a little bit about your bait cannons. Well, well I can't even go. Since you were coming in, I hope we're gonna tidy this up. So, yeah, yeah. so you got different models, right? Yeah, oh, surf smasher. Okay. So this is the smaller surf, version. Surf smasher, that's the smallest yeah. one you got? Yep, and it weighs like 3 kgs. Oh wow. So it's nice and light. It looks pretty handy, man. Huh? Yeah, most people prefer that for their, um, their camper vans and that, just because it's smaller, easier to put a store away. And unless you had the room, then they get, then they get the big one. Oh. A fellow from Rotorua actually invented this. Yeah, I really like those, uh, the logos here as well. Yeah. It looks kind of flesh always, the bait can on the logo. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens when you tidy up, you forget where stuff is. <laughs> So what you do is just... Oh, you don't even need an electric. You, you can do it with a, with a just yeah. pump only. So you just unscrew um, that. So that's your tire valve. Yeah. So the pipe's rated at 167. Okay. That'll blow off at 150, but you never have to go to 150 anyway. Okay. So 120 is plenty. So just the safety yeah. valve there? Yeah. yeah. And then you just put that in, bring them over, and then just pump away to the compression you want. Yeah. Here's all you need, and then take them off. And then with this one, you have your rod and the rod holder. These sinkers here. Okay. Fits in there nice and snug, just yeah. like that. Yeah, Ooh. okay. And then you have your shock leader on there. And yeah. You can have up to two hooks on here. Yeah, you hook it to your main line. And then you just make sure your lines are nice and firm. Walk out to the edge of the water and boom, fire okay. away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's easy. And this one here, you just fire off your hip. So how far does this one, the small This one, one will go 150 to 200. And that one there will go 250 to 300. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a pretty good distance. So that takes a little bit more pressure? It's yeah, because it's got a bigger air tank. Okay, yeah. So because last time you said you're using soft baits, so I was really yeah. interested to yeah. see actually. Yeah, well, we're going to do both. Oh, you got some frozen and yeah. some soft baits? Yeah, oh, cool, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. a lot of people go, oh, you got to use frozen baits, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, you, you can't use the soft bait, you just got to tie it on, that's yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, yeah. Man. So the manufacturing process, when I look at your workshop, it looks actually quite involved. It sure is. <laughs> I hardly get much time to go out fishing. You should be making them. I just got this the other day. So that's just roughly cut. And then that's my good cuts over there. Those are those high pressure yeah, pipes. Yeah, right? yeah. You can use the cheap stuff, otherwise it's just going to explode in your face. You yeah, don't want yeah. that. And these ones are really expensive, they do. Oh yeah, <laughs> they sure are. Do you sell some of these overseas as well? Or? I've had the business for three years now. Yeah, okay. Going on four. I've sold um, hundreds to Aussie. Sinkers. With a package you get 10 sinkers, three freezer mold, a booklet and a shock leader. That looks like a really good pump here as well. Yeah, so that's your freezer mold. Yeah, and you use um, salt water. They can use just ordinary water, otherwise when you get fired, it's just gonna shatter. Okay, yeah. 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 So you put uh, your sinker down the first. Egg, sinker down, and then the two hooks, and then you just put the bait on and just fill it up with salt water and freeze it. Yeah. That's pretty easy, yeah. 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 And this one here, you can use the, um, the, the breakaways, the sand gravers, okay, yeah. because it's gonna hold the wires shut. All right, okay. Because if you just chuck the sand graver straight in there, it ends up in the air tank. All right, okay. And then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then you gotta bring it back to me and then I gotta fix it. <laughs> okay. So, so that's an eight ounce. When you use soft baits, like Yeah, if you use, use the soft baits, you just use that one. And then you don't need to bother with freezing no, anything. No. You just you just put your yeah. normal rig with the two soft baits on yep. here and chuck that in there. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. so and everything goes down the barrel and then you just shoot it out. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. at the end of the day you just get a warm soapy rag, yeah, shove it down your pipe, 
blow that out and that's it. Yeah, it's yeah, only yeah. the bell that gets dirty. But this one here, you can just stand like this on the bed. Yeah. Right? Harder and the faster you open that, the better it shoots out. Okay. Because if you open it too slow, all that air is just going to uh -huh. hold on to it. Just yeah. Fast. Yeah. Because it's quite easy to carry that size. Yeah. It's really good for rock fishing as well. Yeah. You yeah. just take it out to yeah. a rock fishing spot and just shoot it out yeah. from there. But the bigger one is a bit heavier to yeah. carry around. Yeah. Yeah. But this one you could probably even strap. Straight yeah. onto your Put back, on. Onto, on the backpack yeah. or something yeah. now with the yeah. other stuff. Oh man, so I'm cool. really appreciate that, that's awesome. All yeah. good. <laughs> See this. This is how bait cannons work. So with a bait cannon, you can blast your baits about two to 300 meters offshore. This allows you to cast past the breakers to areas where fish are more likely to hang around. At the same time, you have tons of fun shooting a cannon. Now let's have a look at the components of Tama's bait cannons. First, we have a robust PVC pipe that serves as the barrel for loading and launching the bait. Next, we have a high-pressure air chamber. This is a vital component and stores the compressed air. It can be pumped up by hand or with an electric compressor. To separate the barrel and the air chamber, a manually triggered ball valve is responsible for releasing all that pressured air. By opening the lever as quickly as possible, the compressed air is released at once into the barrel launching out the bait. Each cannon also comes with safety valves and security locking mechanisms preventing accidental discharge. Are you ready? Wow. Oh. Gosh. And then you just put your bait back over, find them up, and then you're away. And last but not least, the big cannon, that's called the Big Bertha, also comes with stabilization legs and an integrated rod holder to enhance accuracy and convenience. So in essence, the bait cannon is an awesome piece of equipment that dramatically extends the reach of your casts. And on top of that, it transforms a regular surf fishing excursion into a bombastic experience. Now Tama produces two different types of bait cannons. The flagship is the self-standing Big Bertha, sporting all the bells and whistles. It can launch your bait up to 300 meters from shore. Big Bertha isn't just a bait cannon, it's essentially the Arnold Schwarzenegger fishing gear. It's so powerful, I half expected to turn around and say, I'll be back with fish. A smaller portable handheld version suitable for travel is called the Surf Smasher and it can launch your bait up to 200 meters. It's a fantastic option for fishers on the go. The Surf Smasher is the James Bond of bait cannons. Sleek, portable, and always ready for action. Now, what do you think, guys? Which one of those cannons would you prefer? All right, so another interesting aspect of Tama's bait cannons is that you can shoot out baits without having to freeze them. For that, he provides custom sinkers that snugly fit into the barrel, acting as the bullet. We will show you in a moment how this works. Wow, look at this beauty. Tama just handed us a surf smasher. We can't wait to test it out later. Maori world, a koha. A koha, yeah. That's what's called a koha. I didn't expect at all that, we, <laughs> that we're going to get such a nice koha. Three days, right? That is awesome. And we're going we're gonna to be sure to use it in our upcoming videos. Yep. So if you guys are watching this and you want to see this thing in action and uh, catch some nice big fish on the South Island with it, Yep. That's, that's going to be coming up soon in our videos. <laughs> Alright, so we arrived at Thornton Beach, a local surf casting hotspot near Fakatani, with Tama and his Big Bertha, the mother of all bait cannons. And as always, we fish during the best bite times to increase our chances. If you want to know more about bite times, then make sure you head over to our website fishingreminder.com after this video to stay ahead of the game. Okay, it's time to show off the Big Bertha in action. Let's go through the steps of setting up the cannon. First, Tama uses an electric compressor to pump up the cannon to around 120 PSI. But like I said earlier, you can just use a hand pump as well. Then we load the sinker and bait into the barrel. Let's have a look how we load the bait. There are essentially two methods for loading the bait and the sinker into the bait cannon. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's a good idea. I hate having stinky fingers. The first, more traditional method involves freezing the bait and sinker into a solid ice bullet that then perfectly fits into the barrel. Tama provides some freezer molds for that purpose. Alright, so when using those frozen bullets, the sinker, trays, hooks and bait are all frozen together in salt water. 
They need to be frozen solid, preferably for a few days before use, so they're really solid. Now when using frozen baits, we have to load the bait before pumping up the cannon, as we need to load it with an open bowl valve. Otherwise, the snug fit of the ice will make it hard to slide the bait down into the barrel all the way due to the back pressure. Okay, so you have to do that before you pump it up, actually? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What line are you using? Is it braid? Uh, 80. 80 pound? Yeah. The bail arm of the fishing rod needs to be open, of course. Tama has a little sticky trick in store to prevent the line from unwrapping. Got a blue tack, blue tap. Q ingenuity, use that to. Ta da! Line always gets slack in the yeah. beginning, yeah. so I always have to hold, but that's very yeah. <laughs> And now we're ready to fire. The trick now is to move the lever as quickly as possible yep. to release all the air at once. Oh! Well, that was me. That's it. So easy. There you go. Stop off me. Alternatively, as mentioned before, Tama also provides special round lead sinkers that match the barrel's diameter. This can be used with standard dropper rig and does not require freezing the baits. The setup allows for launching fresh baits like squid secured to hooks with a bait elastic to prevent detachment in mid-flight. It couldn't be easier and I prefer this method over freezing as it's much less hassle. What do you guys think? Oh! There you have it guys, the proof is in the Kaowai. Bait cannons are not only fun, but also effective. Ta -da! <laughs> oh yeah! Okay, so let's wrap this up. What a blast, literally. Big thanks to Tama for showing us the explosive world of bait cannons. Now to our viewers, we hope you enjoyed this as much as we did. Maybe it's time to add a bait cannon to your fishing arsenal. Let us know in the comments if you enjoyed this video and your thoughts or experiences with bait cannons. Make sure to check out the Bait Cannons NZ website for details and to get in touch with Tama. As usual, the link is in the description. Make sure to follow Tama on Facebook and Instagram and support his awesome local business. In our next video, we are going to meet up with our old friend Mike from Weka Digital Media in Fakatani and we will try our new Surf Smasher cannon for the first time there at the Ohiva Harbor. Stay tuned for that, it will be a fun episode. See if we can shoot this further than Mike can actually surf cast. <laughs> hey Tama, thanks so much for showing us the bait camera. Sweet as eh? Mark, thank you for awesome. coming. I really appreciate that. That was <laughs> awesome. I've been looking forward to see that for so long and yep. uh, finally we managed to catch up. Right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we got a fish. Yeah, and we got a fish. Awesome. And make sure to visit Tama's Facebook, Instagram. And if you want one of those cannons, of course, you can contact him directly and he'll sort you out. Yep. The website is um, www.baitcannons.co.nz We'll link everything down in the description as always, so you yep. guys can just click on the links and you'll get uh, in direct contact with uh, Tama here and yep. he'll sort you out. Yep, that's the one. Yeah, hey. awesome man. And if you guys catch something with your bait cannons, of course you got to share it with us. Uh, upload the photos on Fishing Reminder or send it to Tama yep. so he can uh, show it off in, on, his, on his Facebook page yes. as well. That'll be much appreciated. <laughs> Even warm! How? Oh. Yeah. Oh wow. Look at that! She made them all from scratch? Yeah. Oh really? Wow. That looks really professional. <laughs> yeah, she loves the bait. Yeah. A big shout out to Tama's beautiful family for giving us such a warm welcome and treating us to a delicious sky during our visit. They are truly warm-hearted people and we wish them all the best. Thanks again for everything. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fishing adventures tight lines everybody see you next time it's got a um was a 50 year warranty on it so 50 year yeah wow so they're pretty much indestructible oh, yeah for the pipe in that so yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 that's awesome man yeah, yeah. so yeah yeah, yeah. yeah.